Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to install Azure Functions Core tools in your Visual Studio Code. Just to give you an overview, Azure Functions Core tool plays a very crucial role while working with Azure Function uh, with any of the ID like Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio. So what it exactly does is it has the ability to create, debug, and test your Azure functions locally. So when you want to create or debug or test your Azure function in the local environment, this Azure functions core tools can help you on that. Not only that, it can also help you to deploy the Azure function with the Azure cloud. So let's start with a quick demo. For that, what I'll do is, Open the Visual Studio Code and click on the terminal tab, then new terminal and it will allow you to execute the command. I'll paste that command. And able to see here npm install hyphen g Azure functions go tool at the red for this is nothing but the version of this particular Azure function code tool, the latest version, right? So then followed by the force parameter, just enter. The moment you will do that, it will start installing this particular Azure Function Score tools in your Visual Studio Code. So now uh, to cross check whether it is installed successfully or not, what you can do is run this particular command function hyphen version. Once you run this, can able to see here it is showing that four tools version four point this one. So we have already installed this particular Azure function four tools. So that's it for today. This is uh, what how to uh, this is how to uh, install Azure functional core tools in your Visual Studio Code. Have also. That's it for today. So basically, I have also written an article on this particular topic. So while installing Azure Function Core Tools, there might be a chance that you'll get some issues. Okay, that article can help you to fix that particular particular issues and all. That article link I'm going to put it in the video description. You can check out that uh, for more information. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you'll get lots of free videos on different Azure articles along with the different helpful Azure PowerShell commands. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.